How's it going, my comic jet army? We're here today with J.M. Brandt, the create, the co-creator of Swamp Dogs, sit, House of Crows. House of Crows. House of Crows. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So tell us, what's the pitch on Swamp Dogs? What's the book about? Uh, let's see. The way that I recruited my team, uh, or or helped recruit the team was, um, what did I say? Uh, voodoo-powered undead Confederate soldiers versus a lesbian couple and a metal band. I, I, I think maybe I think maybe I said Scooby-Doo metal band uh, because like we're we're kind of writing them in this like sort of a they they all basically come in and out, in and out of a van and you know wisecrack with each other kind of a thing. So Scooby-Doo metal band. Okay, how many issues are you gonna do? Uh, well, House of Crows is sort of its own self-contained story, and that is five issues. And then after that, as long as everybody really likes our stuff, uh, we're going in all different kinds of directions. Like, basically, we have it set out, so this could be its own universe. Uh, we're planning on spinning out into at least two ongoing series, as long as readers want to read it. Uh, one taking place in the near future after House of Crows and one taking place in like kind of the distant future after House of Crows. And then um, we have it kind of set up for like prequels too. Like uh, House of Crows really introduces you to the characters um, and the common thread, which is the Swamp Dogs, which is, is uh, the name of the Confederates. Uh, so the book is named after the monsters in the book. And uh, then there's a backstory behind all of those guys also. So we, we can go back in time, forward in time, uh, all that good stuff. Yeah, I was looking at the bookmark. I'll show you all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the nice little Lincoln hit list, right? Right. Um, so who's the creative team that you got working with you? Uh, so it's myself. So... um. I'm the one that kind of originally came up with the idea. Uh, it started out as a really different idea. And uh, then I met Theo Presidis, or, you know, I've never actually asked him how to pronounce his last name. <laughs> I'm going to say Presidis. Uh, he's Greek and lives in uh, Drama, Greece. So he's like way out there. Um, and he and I started collaborating. And after he came on board, the book took shape in like a really different form that I wasn't expecting. And um, honestly, that I'm much more happy with than the original idea. So he and I are co-writing. We have Robert Samlin, who's like a really, really gifted artist doing covers for us. Um, he day jobs as like a, a art director for video games, like the Battlefield games and Star Wars Battlefront and stuff like that. But he also does you know, um, Mondo posters and records for Waxwork Records and uh, did stuff for like Nike and the New York Times. So he's just like way out of our league, honestly. <laughs> uh, and I, I kind of feel the same way about everybody we work with. Uh, Cuber Ball is our illustrator. Uh, so Robert's in Sweden, by the way. Like this is like an international team. It's like, a, a, I feel like we're in a heist movie or something. Um, the the cover art uh, cover artist Robert is in Sweden. Um, Huber Ball is our illustrator. He is in Brazil. Uh, he does Vengeance of Vampirella and a bunch of other books for Dynamite. Um, Ruth Redmond is in Toronto and she's our colorist and she has a lot of like uh, work with um, Marvel and Valiant and she's amazing. And then our letterer is Steve Wands who like basically anybody who's read a comic book has read a Steve Wands comic book. You know, mm -hmm. he's got uh, close to 2000 credits and has done like Batman and the flash and all the Jeff Lemire books. So, um, and he's out in New Jersey. So we're on three continents and four countries and two coasts of America. So. Wow. That's gotta be challenging to get to everybody on the right time to do a oh meeting or. For yeah. Talk. Yeah. Um, all, all I'll say is, um, God bless the internet and God bless Slack. Um, <laughs> we, we just have this like Slack that's going on. Um, Slack can pay me for this, this, uh, uh name drop by the way. Um,
but yeah, we, we have a Slack thing and it's set up by, you know, art and covers and marketing and covers. And so there's just like all these conversations going on and threads going on at all times because, um, yeah, it's like when I'm going to bed, Theo's waking up and uh, Huber's somewhere in the middle and Ruth is like doing her own thing. So uh, yeah, it's it's really tough to coordinate and it's actually been very few and far between that we've done like a live meeting, um, you know, uh, over video and stuff. Um, it's, it's challenging, but it's fun. And uh, that way it kind of keeps us thinking about Swamp Dogs 24 hours, which I guess is a good thing. Oh yeah. So the release date, says October. Yes. Is it going to be Halloween or before Halloween? You know, um, the last two, like the last new comic book day in October is right before Halloween. And I would imagine that's when it's coming out. But I kind of, um, I'm a newbie to comics and I had it explained to me that like basically for a release date right now, we're at the mercy of the printer and we're at the mercy of diamond and we're at the mercy of a handful of other factors that we just have like no say in. So we're saying October, 2021 and um, shooting for like a late October release. And uh, as, as the date gets closer, I think as diamond bestows our solicitations code on us, uh, we'll, we'll have a release date then. With diamond, do you get to pick the diamond code that we take to our LCSs? Or... I don't think so. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if we did, I'd probably make it something ridiculous, uh, <laughs> you know, just just to make it stand out. No, I think they just give us like some sort of like generic code based on the date and based on how many countless books they have. Okay. Yeah. And you said you're new to comic books. Will this be your first book? It is officially my first comic book, yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've gotten a, I've gotten one story published, like one fiction story published. And then, um, my, my other professional credits are all with like, uh, there's an entertainment website, screenrant.com, which, uh, is like pretty big and mostly like movie and uh, TV show, uh, based. And, um, so I, I did a lot of writing for them and that's actually how I met Theo. Uh, and then I wrote for a website called the Sportster also and then a handful of other websites uh so like some basketball writing some music reviews uh stuff like that but this is yeah my first comic nice how did you get with black caravan and scout comics uh you know honestly we did like a really thorough search theo is um one of his many hats is a graphic designer and so he put together this like really kick-ass pitch uh document for us uh, that ignored every publisher's rules, by the way. So that's probably why we didn't hear back from some people. And, um, you know, we just made a list, like a numbered list of uh, which publishers we were most interested in, where we thought we had like sort of the best avenue for success. And, you know, um, we had heard interest from some and we had heard like... Um, I guess there's a run on civil war stuff and there's a run on horror stuff. And so a couple publishers said that they couldn't carry our stuff because there was already a civil war book in the works. Uh, I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, I guess it just made sense. And so we saw black caravan and we saw the news of what they were doing over there and how they were performing and, uh, saw that Black Caravan was a brand new horror imprint. And honestly, uh, I'll say it, it's really superficial, but we were just really in love with the name Black Caravan and their logo, which is like freaking cool. Like if, if you're going to put out a comic book, you want some, like you don't, you don't want a lame looking publisher mark on it, right? right. You want something that's going to look pretty good. And, and that I could just see that, logo in everybody's home at some point like there's there's just something magical about the name and the logo so um we were just excited and then they were excited uh to hear from us they said it's the best comic book cover that they've ever seen and maybe that was them blowing smoke up our ass but um i i think it's like one of the best that i've ever seen 
and um you know the premise just sounded really cool to them and they saw a lot of possibility in where the story could go yeah I, i'm excited to read it is the ash can out already uh no the ash can's coming out sometime in july and again it's uh one of those we're at the mercy of other people uh golden apple comics has a release date of july 28th and then i hit them up on instagram because i was like wow i guess golden apple knows more about my comic than i do <laughs> and then they said no that's just the date that we're guessing because we don't know either and we had to put something so um i'm gonna say july 28th but it could be before then uh, but it will be sometime in july and you should be able to get it on the website or uh from uh, comic shops um and uh the ashcan is going to be really interesting because it is a handful of pages from the first issue in fact it's the pages that we used as our pitch so in our mind it's sort of the best way of hyping up the story without giving away the full story and then just to make the ash can something special and not just like a, a teaser or an appetizer uh, we threw in a few um, exclusive pages that you're not going to find anywhere else. Nice. Yeah. I like it. So if if they want a bookmark, where can they pick, well, find these at? Oh, that's a good question. So um, we had a little tiny street team. There just really aren't enough bookmarks to go around, I guess. Uh, but we had a street team that went into comic shops in um, Chicago, uh, New York, specifically Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx, uh, New Orleans, Houston, Austin, Portland, and I'm out in Los Angeles, and I'm going and, and just sort of dropping them off at every comic shop I can. Uh, so you can try your luck with any of those. Um, people could hit me up directly because I still have some. Um, and then uh, I believe anybody that's ordering Black Caravan stuff from Scout Comics' uh, website uh, will also get one mailed to them until supplies run out. All right. Yeah, all right. Um, what's your website that they can go to? Uh, okay. So, so our website is under construction, but it should be up within a week or so. And it's going to be swampdogscomic.com. Um, and we're going to have a, a MailChimp uh, newsletter so you can stay abreast. And when we start getting release dates, you'll get those. And uh, when we start releasing um, like variant cover art, you know, you can get that too over there. And then we'll also probably be hyping up like different projects from the other creators too. Uh, Theo has another book coming out in October uh, right alongside Swamp Dogs from TKO that he's really excited about. So um you know anybody that subscribes to the newsletter is going to find out about all that good stuff too all right and we was talking about some comic shop exclusive covers how does yes. that work do you contact them or do they contact you you know it's it's been a mix honestly um i'm really into the idea of uh comic book shop exclusives um I think it's really cool and it's like a really localized limited way of sort of like being a collector. Um, but more importantly, um, I kind of view the characters that I created and wrote as like, let's just call them toys. Let's call them action figures. Right. And mm -hmm. I absolutely love seeing different artists and how they play with my toys. You know, like I love seeing how, different like what appeals to the story about different artists like um i'm just starting to get in some variant exclusives now and like what they're picking to focus on is like so different than probably what i would pick if i could do anything better than a stick figure um <laughs> you know and uh so it's just really cool to see like what people are vibing on and um you know ultimately and m maybe this is a comic chat authority exclusive um, but we're planning on doing an art book at some point, uh, not just a collection of the different covers, but also just random weird artists doing their interpretation of our universe. And um, so the more exclusives we have, the better the art book's going to be. And uh, also the art book's a way of, you know, the artists getting a little bit more money, which is always good. You know, nobody in comics gets paid what they should be getting paid. So um you know any any way that we can help out 
uh, with artists that are doing great work uh, is, is good. Um, but yeah, as far as the exclusives go, I've been reaching out to different stores. Different stores have been reaching out to us. Uh, I don't think that I'm allowed to say who it is just yet, but I believe we're at eight or nine shops right now that are exclusives and uh it, the list keeps growing uh people are really excited from what i understand this is actually really early in the game for an october book uh for stores to be contacting us so i guess they're just really hyped on it all right have you had to turn down a cover yet say no 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 l luckily no <laughs> and uh, honestly i'm a little bit afraid of that um because uh so Theo and I have a list like a mile long of artists that we want to work with. Like, um, we've been working on this comic book forever. Uh, we we actually had a deal in place with another another publisher when we had a different interior artist, um, and that was like three years ago. And um, even back then, we were just like picking names from Instagram and finding artists that we loved that we wanted to work with both in and out of the comic space. Uh, so, you know, we're in the process of like hitting all those up, but then different shops have different like artists that they have deals with, you know, like um, a really good relationship with, you know, artist A and artist B. And so they want to throw those books to those artists. And Theo and I are open because, you know, like I said, the more artists working on our stuff, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but every shop that's come to us and said, hey, we have this artist. The artist has been rad and honestly like half of the time they were already on our list of artists that we wanted to contact so um i don't think anybody's going to be doing a bad job and uh if if we have to turn anything down it might be because we're trying to be really sensitive about race and the depiction of the south and everything in the book because it's it's like kind of icky territory for anybody to be treading you know um mm -hmm. You, you want to be as woke as possible, I guess you want to say, um, and, and sensitive to symbols of hate, historical symbols of hate, because, you know, um, there's going to be a lot of that, and, and it's going to be pretty messy, but by the same token, it's the villains that are doing it. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, is there anything you want to say before we go, before we wrap it up? Uh, I hope everybody really likes this book. <laughs> um, I, I hope that, uh, you know, basically I just want to hear from anybody. I want to hear feedback. Um, I want to know that people are actually enjoying what it is that I'm writing because I'm enjoying writing it, but I don't think I'm going to enjoy it half as much as knowing other people are enjoying it. All right. Uh, well, thank you for coming to take the time to talk with us. Um, All right, thank you. Do you have any social medias or anything you want to send people to? Yeah, yeah. So um, Swamp Dogs has an Instagram that's just uh, Swamp Dogs Comic. Um, but then my own individual ones, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at MRJM Brandt, B R E N D T. Uh, so that's at Mr. J M Brandt. And then on Instagram, it's J.M.Brandt, B R A N D T. So. Um, yeah, follow, follow me everywhere. Uh, we, we have a lot of stuff to be posting. And, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to get a lot of feedback. You know, if, if somebody sends me a message there, I'm going to be responding. And, uh, you know, I, I want to hear from people that are excited about the book. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs>